Don's Garage Doors.com. When you need it done right today, it's Don's Garage Doors.com. is the Experience Pros Radio Show. Got an opinion or want to ask us a question? Email radio at experiencepros.com or message us on the Experience Pros Facebook page and we'll interact with you live on the show. Hey, welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show, home of positive business talk. You do a little trash talking? <laughs> you know what? You, you probably do a lot of trash talking, I imagine. Um, not as much as our next guest. <laughs> our next guest is Stacy Savage. She is a real trash talker. talker. She is a zero-waste specialist. She helps businesses and local governments increase profits by reducing their waste through recycling, composting, and staff education. As a 15-year zero-waste advocate, she's worked with the city of Fort Collins, the city of Austin, Nestle, Purina Pet Care, among others, to help establish policies and programs that address highest and best use of material. Keeping reusable discards out of landfills creates local green jobs, support business development, reduces climate impacts, and help keeps our communities clean. Stacy Savage, welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Hello, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Stacy, it's very nice to have you along with us. Let's let's get a, an uptake here for just a minute. What is the state of sustainability in, when it comes to our, uh, our our zero waste efforts here in America? Well, uh, zero waste is an operational efficiency concept, and businesses and governments all over the world are using this in order to, as you said, reduce their waste to increase their profits. Uh, so it is a, a, a goal of 90% waste diversion from landfills and incinerators. This is a no burn, no bury policy. That means that the materials that can be diverted from these facilities can be used in a different manner, whether that is through uh, repurposing, uh, recycling, upcycling, uh, refurbishment. There's, there's all kinds of ways, uh, all those re's that you can think of, uh, that's that's what we're looking at here. It's how do we reuse these materials, give them second, third, fourth, even fifth life, um, uh, lives, excuse me, and, um, uh, you know, save landfill space and mitigate our climate impacts as well. Uh, okay, so back um, to the original question then, how, how are we doing? Are, are we are we anywhere near? Uh... Yeah, yeah, well, we're, we're, we're getting there. And it's, it's um, you know, we've, we've had hundreds of years of our history uh, of, of, you know, where putting things in the hole in the ground and covering it is the way that we've dealt with our with our trash right uh for a long long time and it's uh really a uh, it's an unsustainable business model so we are not where we need to be uh we're we're nowhere near you know journey that uh, that is uh doing this on a, a wide scale basis um we don't have really any legislation unless it's really at the municipal level uh like here in Austin we have a zero waste policy we know that Fort Worth just uh just passed uh, zero waste uh, commitments and policies as well San Antonio is not far behind in Texas obviously Fort Collins has got their community or um or ordinance uh, recycling ordinance um Denver's got a, a zero waste protocol as well uh, so it's it's kind of municipality based there's no state legislation or even um, federal legislation um, just yet so there is a, a federal law um, or excuse me a federal bill that's being introduced uh, by Keith Ellison um, of Minnesota and uh, at the federal level for zero waste because it is an economic driver and it just happens to have environmental uh, benefits uh, so we really want to push um, you know, zero waste as an economic driver to create well-paying green jobs uh, and also um, uh, reduce those, those climate impacts and boost the local tax base as well. So we've got quite a bit of work to do, sure. although we are recycling as communities, you know, recycling as and, and, and uh, reducing our trash um, is really uh, a big uh, push in, in city governments. One thing that we're not really addressing is uh, how do we reduce our waste through uh, less consumption? That's really the, the top goal. If you think about your three R's, reduce, reuse, recycle, reduce is number one, but a lot of the times we go straight to recycling. 
that's the third peg, right? Uh, so we need to address reduction first by consuming less. Um, and then whenever we do consume, we need higher quality products. Um, and then uh, reuse, reuse uh, of materials is, uh, is a, a key economic driver as well. And so, you know, it, it doesn't really make sense uh, if a, 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 an aluminum can uh, gets thrown in the trash where it could have had uh, multiple lives to be recycled uh, into a new aluminum can or some kind of other aluminum compo component. Um, you'll even see uh, businesses that are starting to take back their own products uh, like electronic waste, uh, <clears throat> Dell uh, and other companies have been uh, promoting uh, e-take back, uh, and they, they take back their own uh, electronic devices that are either obsolete or old, and you know they're, they'll break them down and they'll get the, the working components out of them and they'll re remake they it into to something else. So Stacy, what have been some of your favorite things that you've seen companies shift in either reduction or reuse that has made such a big impact? Um, I think one of the, and in, I would love to do this on a voluntary basis and not have to have the government hold your hand and, 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 and smack your hand if you did it wrong, but, you know, it's really the legislative policy that makes the even playing field uh, for business participation. So if there's municipal policy like we have here in, in Austin and uh, like I've worked on uh, with uh, colleagues in Fort Collins, that policy makes it uh, fair to all businesses. If it's a volunteer policy, that's it's really um, it, it it puts it on the shoulders of just those business entities that care. Uh, so this is something that um, that affects the community as a whole. So I think legislative policy at the municipal and hopefully even at the state level, um, it you know will will eventually. Um, change the culture. It's an entire culture change that needs to happen of how we view our waste because these materials are extremely valuable. They are high valued commodities on the exchange market. They have dollar amounts behind them based on tonnage. And if we're throwing them away, we're also throwing away money. And that's not only at the municipal level, that is in within a business operation. And so you can impact the bottom line twice maybe even three times in a positive way by first uh, taking some serious inventory of what supplies you already have on hand, reducing your purchases, and then uh, making sure that your materials are either uh, reused, uh, donated, or recycled to where you're not paying for the landfill trash pickup. Our guest and is, so uh, I, excuse me, Stacy. let me just uh, reset. We're going to run out of time here. Our guest is Stacy mm -hmm. Savage, and she's a zero waste specialist uh, helping businesses and local governments increase their profits by reducing their waste through recycling, composting, and staff education. Stacey, this is a big topic, and, and obviously uh, the, the time just flies uh, when we're having fun. <laughs> Where can our listeners connect with you and, and follow you for more information? Sure. Uh, we're on Facebook and Twitter, uh, but you can also go to our website where the, the Facebook and Twitter links are. It's just uh, the number zero, waste, W-A-S-T-E. Um, .org, zerowaste.org. Zerowaste.org, the number zero, waste.org. Stacy, thank you for joining us. We're super grateful for what you're doing. You're making a difference. All right, thanks for having me on. All righty, folks, don't go anywhere. We will return with more positive business talk right after these messages. If you know somebody who's a landlord, you should have them tune in. Back right after this.